Hey, little buggy. Okay, ignore me. Daisy. Daisy, what do you think? Should we do a trip and trip number... Do a Daisy's adventure in trip number 27, if I can get it right? Yeah. Shall we go wander in a new place? Somewhere we haven't been in... Well, you haven't ever been. We haven't been in years. We are up on the random turnout on Cottonwood Pass. That's where some of the clips you saw at the beginning were. At the top of Cottonwood Pass. Yeah. Last time I was here, I was a little tiny. Did you find anything fun? Not yet. Just a whole bunch of looping flowers so far. And shotgun shells. Yep. Bunch of them. Someone had a fun time. Well, you could at least pick them up. The whole box. Yeah. This is wrong though. I would have picked them up. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. There was... Yeah. Totally thought there was going to be another dog somewhere or something. Mm -hmm. Such strange noises. I know most of them are the trees creaking, but that was like a dog chain jingle. Hmm. More pretty little white flowers. Right here. And a cute little daisy pants. Hi. You want to wander some more? Lots of white flowers. And lupins everywhere. Uh huh. There's a lot of trees down. What'd you see, Bulger? Uh, go, go, go! Scooters are following me. They're following me. The strange noises. Oh. I wouldn't bring the car to the field. Uh uh. Something chattering there, and off that way sounds like a bicycle brakes. Oh, uh -huh. some very spooky trees. If you find a shed, bring it back up. Oh. Okay, Boogie? Okay, Boogie? Thanks for waiting. We may end up having to hit the bug spray for the first time. Yeah. 
I'm gonna fall in the hole as I look at something else. <laughs> Better than a bug hit me in the head. That was weird. Ow. <laughs> Driving down Cottonwood Pass, and the window was down so I could film, and a bug flew in, a big bug flew in and hit me in the head. That was funny. Still is funny. Never had a bug hit me in the car before. Out of the car millions of times. Like, I even down the pass, hit me in the side of the head. Just weird. Old road, new road. Lupins everywhere over here. Yep. Good route. Right there. Be that far below the road. Mm hmm. Oh, she's hot now. He's sure uh, kicking up dirt. No one's going to be driving down that road for a while. Dust ball. Oh, but you keep me in the air. You don't come here to do it. I need a helmet. No, no, I was right there. Uh huh. Get that down. Uh huh. Run, 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 run. Somewhere new. Go. Somewhere we've never been before. Yep. Well, it's totally different. Yeah. <laughs> it's annoying is when they go between the glasses. Uh -huh. For you it's between the glasses, between the glasses though. Or behind behind. Oh, 
find a big good camp, camping spot here. Uh huh. Or maybe it still is because it goes down the hill. Rock it. It might be a creek. Yeah. You could go get a drink in though. If not, there's of course water in the power farm. Yeah. They keep Let's get cattle in here. Yeah. Because they keep water bottles under the seat for them. Yeah. yeah. There's a creek. Put a cabin right here. Go find it. You can get a drink if it's moving. If it's stagnant. Well. Or yeah, you can get a drink. Come right here. Rocket, come here. Rocket. Or go that way. Whatever works for you. There's fishy in it. There yeah. Zoom! Nice little creek. No, 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 no. Come over here. Right there. Right there. 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 That one will probably wait. Because look how much he sank in the mud. You okay? Yeah. Do you have to drink the icky water? You always have to go belly deep. You're such a boom. There. Hold off now. Yeah, it's a little swifter right there, Hank. Camel. Daisy. Wait till we get back to the car, okay? I think you'll sink in the mud right there. <laughs> How do I get out of it? Find a fish, dude. Go find a fishy. You having fun swimming? Look how deep he's sank in the mud. Yeah, little boogie. We'll wait till we get back to the car. Come here. Don't. Wait. Come on. Tall grass, your favorite to run through. Yep. You didn't know the creek was here. Mm -hmm. You didn't notice, notice it at all. All oh, the trees down to everywhere. Uh -huh. That's a terrible windstorm in here. Hey. Yes, there's cold water for you back at the car. I think you would have sank in that mud, booger. Yeah. It would have disappeared, in this muddy booger I had to wash you off in the river. Like, creek, whatever it is. Go ahead, you're fine. Good job! 
swim? Swim, swim, swim! Got it! Did she walk for it off now? Did she go for a swim? Did you go for a swim? Was it fun? It's cold, huh? And the big moo cow. What are you doing over there? Get him here. Did you have fun? Hey! Did you have fun swimming? I know you're all wound up. What? Where'd you go? Is you hiding? Come on! What do you get? Well, come on! Come on! Come on! Look at me I think someone says it's lunchtime. Oh! You <laughs> splashed me, you bugger. You know what? <laughs> oh, that was shocking. What are you doing over there? Oh, come here. Is your cool off now? Little bugger. All wound up. Well, now what do you want to do, little buggy? Hi. You went swimming and played in the creek. Now you got four tummy. Now you look like you need a nap. Huh. Yeah. Let's go find something else to do, shall we? I have no idea what the heck else to do. It's weird here. The birds barely chirp. There hasn't been a single squirrel or chipmunk anywhere. Seen two deer. And the bugs here are on steroids. And the trees look weird. And make the most oddest sounds. Kind of creepy. But not a single chipmunk. It's so weird. Did you have fun playing in the creek though, pumpkin? Yeah, was it also fun? They need a nap, huh? Before I tell me need a nap. Okay, let's go see what else we can get stuck into.
that's the first to catch tonight with this brand new reel. Oh, lost it. Oh, hello, bucket. Didn't realize the bucket was right there. Now Dan has steel and fixes one. And I still have nothing. So later, we will play bait or no bait with a new bait. Oh! He just puked. He just puked out a, a worm. <laughs> Helicopter going through in the middle of the night. Yeah. This was weird. And low too. Okay, we're finally alone now. We had to wait for some asshats to go away. And my 30, we'll say 25 some years of fishing up here at this lake, I've never had someone come down right next to me and throw over the top of my line. That is just bad fishing etiquette. When you see someone else is already in that spot, you move on. You don't stand there and, and bitch because you've never, you know, You've been here for two weeks and you never had someone do this before and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, I've been up here for 20 some years fishing at this exact lake and I've never had some asshat come down and throw, intentionally throw over the top of our line. That was just bad etiquette. The little butt baby finally left. So we're alone. So we are finally going to be able to play. I was hoping to do this in the daylight, but they wouldn't go the hell away. They were annoying the crap out of me that much. Because all he would do is sit there and cry baby and bitch and complain. But anyways, finally alone, so it's time to play bait or no bait. 
Now this is the fourth edition of Bait or No Bait. The first one was uh, gummy worms. The second one was uh, turkey hot dog. The third one last week, trip number 26, was a tropical Swedish mini Swedish fish. This week we are going to be trying frozen carrots. Well, at least they were once frozen carrots. So we're gonna throw this on the hook. Open the baggie, and whatever we don't use, we'll eat tomorrow. I can eat my bait again. That's such a weird thing to say, I can eat my bait. <laughs> so we're gonna take somewhat of a, a smaller carrot the bucket. We're going to take one about this size. You can see I got a helper. And we're just going to slide it on the hook as best as possible without losing it. About the same way as we did all the other stuff. That went a little crookedy. Let's try again. That's better. So here we go. We got that on the hook. And we got the hooky part showing, just like we did with all the other bait. Now if you want to know if, <coughs> if we caught anything on those other bait, you'll have to go back and watch those videos. But this rendition, or this edition, fourth edition, is going to be crinkle cut, once was, carrots. So let's toss it out there and see if we can catch anything on a carrot. Because everybody always says they bite at everything, and we're going to test that theory once again. Here we go. See, with this one, I could throw a little harder. With the other ones, I had to watch the way through. So we're going to sit here and watch and see if we can catch a rainbow trout on a carrot. So let's play bait or no bait. Well, so far, they're biting it, but they're not taking it. And unfortunately, I don't know how well you can tell, all the crud has moved in over here. So, I think we're going to go to the other side now and make dinner. Because that log right there is heading towards my stuff. Which is off that way. But yeah, the crud has shifted off this way. So I think we'll go to the other side and uh, make dinner. And I'll throw it in over there and see what happens. And we'll still play bait or no bait just on the other side. And hopefully there's not as much crud in the water. Because there's a lot. And it's just what's washed down from the river. It's no big deal. Because the lake is seriously higher than usual. But yeah, you can see it all over the water. So, let's just go to the other side and play bait. Or no bait. And hopefully we catch something. Hopefully a carrot is a, is a bait and not a no bait. But I don't know. I was hoping to catch it over here like it did all the others. But I think... We might toss it in one more time over there, and if nothing happens, we'll move to the other side. So here we go. Well, we got our campfire nicely going. Our dinner fire, whatever the heck you want to call it. And we always have two buckets of water sitting there at the ready. But um, the, the lake has risen so much this week that uh, the water's right there. And it, it's slowly creeping closer, so we're just at a little bit of a high point where it's kind of going around us at the moment, as you see over there. Kind of going around us. We are still playing bait or no bait. It's out there. The bobber's all lit up and whatnot. You can't tell, but bobber's lit up. We're still play playing bait or no bait. Because there just started to be too much crud in the water over there. And I didn't want to lose my line or lose my gear. So we came over here. 
to have a campfire and still play bait or no bait with a crinkle cut carrot on the end. We'll see if anything happens. If not, it'll be the first no bait. So you'll have to wait and see towards the end of this video because we're going to play for as long as we can until we run out of wood or get chased out by the lake. Because the water is seriously close. Last week it was down there, about there, and it has, excuse me, risen so much that it's almost next to us. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, that's how close it is. So, we're going to sit here, enjoy our fire, and have dinner. And play bait or no bait. Cross your fingers that it's actually bait and you can catch a rainbow trout on a carrot. If not, I might give it another go next week because that ass hat made me start later than usual because I was waiting for him to leave. We had to take the dogs for a walk and get away from him before a confrontation happened. And it was easier to walk away than cause a problem. Or have a problem way the hell up here. But yeah, so I may give it a go next week. Bring a couple carrots up with me and give it a go. Plus whatever else I happen to come across. Who knows? I might try garlic bologna next week or another gummy bug or I don't know. Have to wait and see. And if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me try as bait, leave a comment down below. I will pick it up and, and definitely give it a try. But we're going to sit here, have dinner, play bait or no bait for the rest of the night. And I'll bring you back, whether it's bait or not. There's just enough ripple in the water that makes it move, making you think you have something, but it's not. It's the current. But yeah, so here we go. We're gonna have dinner and play bait or no bait still. As the water slowly creeps closer. Well, we're out here playing bait or no bait still. And unfortunately, it's going to have to be no bait for the night. Because I got this huge torpedo. Zero in on it or something, because still can't see it. This huge torpedo of a log heading right towards my bobber down there and a whole bunch of other crud floating around in the water because the water's not even clear just sit still yeah so the water's not even clear this huge torpedo so next week i'm going to be testing out two different ones i'm going to give cor corn corn wrong one i'm going to give the carrots a better try next week because that ass hat kind of screwed it up for me they wouldn't go the hell away and all I did was bitch and complain 
but normally when the you're the first one there, you you know, first come first serve, not shove your way in and I don't know. It was annoying. But anyways, unfortunately for tonight, carrots are a no bait. But we're gonna try again next week, give it another crack at it. And maybe something else. But for now, I'm gonna reel everything back in and go enjoy the rest of our fire because we just finished our peanut butter banana boats. Campfire peanut butter banana boats. And we're gonna enjoy the rest of our fire before we head home. I need to reel that in before it gets tangled up in my line. So thanks for playing bait or no bait with me. And we'll see what, again, if you have a idea or thought on what to use as bait, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And I will definitely give it a try. But we're gonna go enjoy the last of our fire. So we'll see you next week for another round of bait or no bait.